to have to do with the little pet shop or horses or you know animals in general i like to, to pick up and a lot of times i'll just pick them up going to get around to showing you some of the wonderful colorful items that I picked up the, during this past week. It was my first trip ever to the Goodwill bins. I went over by the Salvation Army since I was on that side of the, the of town where they're at and just had a wonderful time. This does not include the things that I got at the uh, Saturday night auction. I'll do them at another time. But I'm going to start off with what I got at, at the Salvation RV Bins. It was my first time over there, so it was a learning experience, too. I, I had saw this jacket, which I wasn't really interested in the jacket, but it was the buttons. People do like to get fancy buttons, and so I had in mind that I would take the buttons off. But I got home and weighed it, and since Goodwill Benz goes on weight, it weighs over a pound. So not a good, not a good sourcing when you just want the buttons off of it. But clothing-wise, I did pick me up a pair of capris, brand new with the tags. So that was a good deal, and just a little tank top shirt to go with it. I found some fabric, some cute Halloween fabric, and some cute uh, Easter spring chicky fabrics. Actually, I didn't notice before, this one looks like it's already been sewn, sewn up a couple of them. Maybe, maybe there's something, <laughs> they are something already, maybe placemats? Hmm. It's actually a pocket. Oh, well, they're still cute. Could be used as a placemat on the table at, at uh, Easter time. But that was in, in fabrics. Uh, I did also get, for me, some Christmas items. Some uh, artificial poinsettias. A pretty twig Christmas wreath and a wire frame. I, I would take it this originally was made to hold maybe like pie plates and 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 set up on your table to display or cool your pies on. Or tidbit trays on it but I'm gonna decorate it and since it's metal use it outside as a just a Christmas decoration but those those are for me I got me a couple of little throws this cute holiday looking throw in this one and a real nice afghan which weighs quite a bit too when you when you weigh it it's like two pounds <laughs> So, I don't know if that was a good bargain or not at the bins, but that, that'll probably be, uh, go up on eBay for sale. I just love the colors in them. They're so, so pretty. Also, found this lovely little evening bath. I have not really cleaned any of this stuff up. It all has to be washed, too. But this is done with Mother of Pearl buttons covered on one side has snaps on the inside the strap looks like it needs a little mending done to it which won't be a big deal to do but just oh really pretty mother pearl buttons on there and then I found this nice dark navy this could almost even be used as an, an evening bag too I don't look at names 
I'm not into names. I'm into what's pretty. And that has the beaded work in it. Just really nice. And then I found this. I love little foxies. Little Anna raccoons, chipmunks. This is a, a kid's lunch kit. And like I said before, I have not cleaned these things up. But this is in good shape. The zipper's working. It's got a name on it. Uh, here. Arctic Zone. But I'll get it cleaned up. Some child's going to love carrying their lunch to school with all these cute animals on it. And, plus, talking about lunches, there was this. It's got leather, the name and leather on it. And you open it up, and look how neat this is. You have a two set of your forks and spoons and knives. And new, and hadn't even been opened yet, are a couple of plastic plates. So you can just zip them up and... Go to the park for a picnic. I thought that was very cute. And this was just somebody's craft project, I believe. Kind of a goth looking. I think that's maybe an old band-aid tin in there that somebody's turned into like a little goth Halloween uh, decoration. Got the black raven in there. Cute student art project <laughs> i love student arts they they can get oh really wild and crazy i wish they'd have signed and dated this one but yeah some some child probably made this to take home and uh for their art project but it is cute oh, i found one mug i've got so many mugs my mugs are on sale right now so be sure to Look at the mugs. But this one had really neat looking roosters on it. Barnyard, barn scene, really fall, autumn looking. So it just kind of caught my eye as a really pretty mug. And this little wall hanging go from fall, autumn mug to spring, summer, bird. This is very heavy. I take it it's like slate. There's a name on it. But it's just real pretty with the birds and the butterflies. And like I said, it all needs to be cleaned. And this is just a little woven mat with some bright sunflowers on it. I think we'd look pretty in the center of a table with, with a pretty vase. Even this bright green vase that I found would be pretty on it. And uh, this vase was in very good shape. You know, I love pottery. It's nothing special, no special name on it. Actually, it's the edible arrangement. Ooh, somebody probably got chocolate in that and all. But, yeah, just a really pretty lime green vase. I did find another tapestry-type Halloween pillow. I sold the one with the kitties on it and all. It's a little late for this to get listed and make it this year for Halloween, but... It'll be there for some for next Halloween or somebody that just enjoys pumpkins and witches, you know. And then these were just too cute. These are your sock monkey, and they're like earmuffs. Put it on there so you can see better. Oop, nope, monkeys don't want to stay on there. But yeah, cute little sock monkey earmuffs. I wouldn't mind wearing those. And uh, I haven't even opened this up. I, I don't get a whole lot of toys. But anything that has to do with the little pet shop or horses or, you know, animals in general, I like to, to pick up. And a lot of times I'll just pick them up until I have enough to bundle and sell as a little collection. I found this one horse that probably will already start to go with this set of the horse ranch. Uh, found some other wild animals. Polar bear, who's very dirty, needs a bath really bad. And a dinosaur.
dinosaur kids like dinosaurs but i'll clean them up and i'll i'll wash them down with some alcohol to be sure that they're all sanitized and, and stuff and so that was that was it for my trip over to the first time to the goodwill bend i think i spent i think it was about 42 dollars. i know a lot of the weight came from this afghan this pillow weighs like a pound and then the jacket <laughs> i thought i was doing good with with getting it for the buttons so the next place i went while i was on that side of town let me get back around here was to the salvation army and these are the things that i that just jumped into my basket didn't even ask for them they said hey we're animals take us with us you know it was this really cute oh i'm just in love with this cute little bunny he is so cute so cute signed really cute and i think these are dogs are supposed to be dogs that are uh, fox honey like you can see in this plate don't those look kind of the same yeah i think these are hounds going out for the hunt and and this is a metal candle holder very interesting. I had never seen anything like that. Very good. And talking about the plates, these are some very old plates for the hunt. A lot of crazing on them. Gonna have to really wrap good. When I get really old things like this too, I worry about change in temperature. No matter how great a job I do at wrapping it, if there's sudden changes, like they go from a, a mail truck out in the heat from 120 into somebody's air-conditioned house at 60 degrees, that quick change in temperatures can sometimes cause this stuff to, to break. So, yeah, sometimes even wrapping it good is not going to help this old stuff. But these were just, these were just too pretty too pretty to not get and I'll probably sell them as the set of two there was another blue one there but it had a big scratch in it I got the little agua water pet dish it was very pretty it's a pretty color uh the little rabbit there's only two of them but don't see rabbits too much in this in the stacking dolls so there is two little rabbits. Got this over there. Poodles. I found a really nice little poodle notepad. It's got a magnet in it. It's a hallmark. And then, of course, the old Japanese poodle bookends. I love the old Japanese. Unfortunately, one of these poodles was, was cracked and broke. But collectors, I don't think, are going to care because you could put that to the back. And that's actually where a pen or pencil goes in. Yeah, put a pen or pencil down in there. And uh, maybe it wouldn't even matter. But this one's in really good shape. He's not, well, he does have one little teeny chip right there, but not that bad. But yeah, I had to rescue those poodles. Could not leave those there and then of course this was a cute little wall hanging of the poker poker faces for old dogs yeah a bulldog and doxy playing poker dogs rock i agree and that's you guys can let me cute in a little dog grooming shot and little folk art mexican trinket box out of terracotta I like the folk, folk art. Painted really pretty. And then I saw this kitty trinket box. Halloween kitty. Of course, like I said, it's a little late now to get Halloween up for this year. But there's always next year. I'm pretty sure it'll come around again next year. And the Halloween meow kitties, black kitties plastic plates and I'm probably going to sell this as a little group with the, with the black kitties on them and then I happened to swing by after I did all that the next day and there were some people down the street 
having a yard sale so I decided to swing in and see what they had and I picked up this little amber glass uh, candy dish really looks mid-century with the shape of that really love love the shape of that little amber glass candy dish and then I got a whole bag and I'm so pleased with this this was only three dollars for all of this beautiful hand crochet pieces I do crochet but I'm not fond of using this type of thread but this is a nice big centerpiece for a table and another nice big centerpiece for a table this has got the pineapple pattern very nice and I really like this one this is not the pineapple pattern it's more like a grape pattern and it's if you can see it's kind of raised up like a 3d three-dimensional bunches of grapes it does have a little staining like I said I have not cleaned any of this stuff yet and there were two of these these I think just go on your armrest decorative and this one had some this one has a lot of staining but it's like a fabric deal and then some of the brightest colors oh my gosh this is just so bright and so pretty i could see this on a spring table with a big floral arrangement just so bright and pretty and then just a bunch of these smaller smaller uh doilies some red and white this would be pretty at christmas time on tables the strawberries are going to kind of stay in my <laughs> stay with me <laughs> because my kitchen i have red accents in it and, and i like the strawberries so they'll stay with me but these are pretty colors here with the flowers in the middle of them and there, these have the roses in the middle but just stacks of them wow all for three dollars that's a I, that's a lot of work. I like cringe knowing the amount of work that goes into a crochet piece, and uh, that's all all you can get for it. But uh, anyway, that was everything except sat, uh, Saturday night at the auction, and I'm probably going to do a little quick video of it as I unload the stuff because I bought box lots, and it's a, it's almost like a mystery when you get a box lot. I'm not going to be so I'll let you watch me unbox and see what we got in it.